Hello world, it's Jenny Craig, and I, as promised, let me fix this a little bit for you guys. I have a surprise. As you guys are coming in this morning, or this, this afternoon, technically seconds after, I have, as promised, this little lovely guy. Actually, it's a girl. So this, I hope she's friendly today. She's a nice little kitty. So this is Stevie. Yes, named after the amazing and incredible Stevie Nicks. This is my fuzzy little cat. I have a few of them. Uh, if you don't know me, I love cats, but I also, um, I, I, I did a rescue and I got a rescue that was pregnant. So this is Rescue's baby. So now we have quite a few cats, but we keep them usually, you know, they're outside cats, but they're fixed and happy and fed. Um, and she's so cute. So I, I think she's out of here, but I just wanted her to say hello to you guys. As promised, there's a little kitty in the show. <laughs> Let her, go ahead, go ahead. So um, that's, that's my cat. How are you guys this week? Tell me how you doing. Sandra says she missed, I have cat hair now all over me. It's like flying around the room. <laughs> I promised you a cat, you got a cat. I don't know what else you want from me, guys. Um, so, should we do um, Kellen? Yes. Um, also, I have cats, if anybody wants one. <laughs> no, they're super cute, and me and my husband love them so much. They're amazing. So, um, they're not technically for adoption, but if someone needed a cat, that was up for love. Oh, Brooke is watching. So we're gonna mention, um, thank you, Jamie. We're going to mention an amazing little lady later today named Brooke Smith. It looks like Jamie and Brooke are watching. So stay tuned for that amazing story. Should we do a book poll for the week? Um, let's pull something fun. Oh, here, I've got one for you guys, hold on. My cat thinks she's gonna be on the camera again and she's running. Okay, so this is a really fun one. So this is um, booze and vinyl and it's a really cool, if you're into uh, records, old rock, it's kind of a really cool drink book that also collaborates music with into it. So it's a really fun, it was actually a gift of mine from a friend of mine, um, Candace Urban. I don't know if she's watching, but she, she might be. She, she, I think she did last week. So it's a really cool, if you're into cool old rock and you're into fancy cocktails, this fun thing here. Um, but let's kick it off with some good news. We've got some people watching. Enough about my books and my cats. Um, let's check it out. Oh yeah, and Sergio... Kellen, everybody's watching. I'm so excited. Thank you, Sergio. I've got a story from our, our writer, Sergio, as well today. So we'll kick it off so we can get through these. I've got a ton of really cool stuff today. So if you're just tuning in or you've never tuned in before, this is Great News Weekly with GreatNews.life. I'm your host, Jenny Craig Brown, and we are going to talk good news. So this is a weekly Wednesdays at News weekly show that talks about the good stuff happening in the world. And we will bring you news from all over the region. While I'm talking your ear off, send me your lifelines. We call, we call them lifelines. They're little like one line good news stories. So tell me what happened to you in the last week that's good. Or tell me what you saw that was good um, while we're talking about other good news. So fill me in, I'll read through the comments as I can. But let's kick it off. So first up, we're gonna start in the Port County this week with American Licorice Company Sweetened Spirits During Pandemic. So this is by our lovely Julia Demma. She created this article with the American Licorice team. Um, Nicole Kroll is the team member, the rep for the article too, and they really are, obviously, they're in the candy biz, right? So if you don't know American Licorice, they do sour punch straws, Red Vines, um, that's the kind of crew that they are and the company, um, that, that's what they create for their company. And during this pandemic, so they're really community oriented. All, all year we've seen tons of stuff that they, they do ongoing. And it is a little harder right now. Obviously you can donate your time and you can donate um, to some nonprofits, but they can't do as many events right now as they used to. So I talked to Nicole 
And uh, they are doing a lot still. So during the pandemic, they're doing awesome things. Like for every online order they get, they donate $10 to United Way. They're also writing letters and giving them to kind of frontline workers and healthcare workers. And they did similar with Easter baskets. So they created Easter baskets that of course showcased some of their amazing goods and gave them to health care workers, first responders, and people like that, those frontline workers. So amazing job, American Licorice. That's fantastic. I love it. Um, so thank you. And thank you, Julia, for spotlighting that because it's really awesome what they're doing and how they're continuing to stay above all of this pandemic stuff. Um, I'm a little nervous. I've got a cat over here that's Acting a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> um, also, I wanted to shout out Happy Earth Day. So it's Earth Day. Let's do what we can for the, the world and the earth and keeping it safe and healthy. Um, same, happy uh, Cami from my team shouted out Happy Admin Professionals Day. So a lot of the administrative professionals out there are still working, working from home, working as much as they can, doing all those things. So um, thank you to all of those people, the guys on my team that are the admin professionals. We've got many in different roles. So Stephanie, Cami, Natalia, like thank you guys for all that you do. Um, I saw Natalia just make fun of me for being a cat lady, so I take that back. I'm just kidding. Uh, so let's move on. I wanna pop over to Northwest Indiana life. This is a really cool story from Tommy Elwood. Track athletes stay connected during the quarantine. So Tommy, I believe, is a student at Portage High School, but this encapsulates the whole region. So that's why it's on um, the quarantine, or on the Northwest Indiana Life page. So basically, think about the track athletes, any athlete in school right now, you're probably seeing you know, some frustration. Kellen, I know you're watching and you're a runner. It's really hard to stay busy, stay fit, stay working out, all those things. So um, Tommy wrote this really awesome article about how these track athletes are staying connected and they have so much cool stuff they're doing. So um, they are doing online like virtual track meets. They are sending out daily workouts for the crew to stay fit. Um, and then they're working on some other stuff. So it's... Um, Maryville, Valpo, Portage, Highland, Crown Point, Munster, Chesterton are all working together right now to see what they can do to um, kind of stay active. How can they get into these virtual track meets? How can they you know, stay active during this time? So it's really, really awesome. I'm seeing a lot of comments, so I'm gonna try to run through them, see what I can find here. So let's see what you guys have. Donna Flanagan, thank you. She shouted out, she's a cat lady too, it's okay. Um, Let's see. Using red vines as a straw is a great life hack. Kayla, yes, you are so right. That's fantastic. Julia shouting out American Licorice. Thank you. I agree. They are so amazing. Kevin Brown, my lifeline today was delivering birthday cake, birthday cake with the fire department and police department to a seven-year-old in my town. So if you don't know, Kevin Brown is my husband, and he is a North Judson, San Pierre, Wayne Township. It's North Judson, Wayne Township fire department um, volunteer. So the whole department is volunteer. They actually don't have any unvolunteer positions. So these guys all work full-time jobs. They all have other things, families. Um, and they all volunteer their time to be fire department uh, members in this community. And today, that's I think actually where he is right now, is they did, rounded up all the police and fire from the town and they did a drive by a seven year old's birthday house for a birthday party. So they did lights and sirens and you know, the loudspeaker for someone's seven year old's birthday. And so I, shout out to them, that's really, really awesome that they did that. It's really fantastic to see those first responders really caring and doing what they can to make kids smile. I love it. So um, we're gonna move on. I've got so much, I'm so excited. Uh, next up is, as I mentioned, A Life in the Spotlight with Brooke Smith. So Brooke Smith is a lovely first grader who um, is, 
mature beyond her means, let me tell you. So Brooke started Project G, which I hope I'm saying it right. It's G-E-E, -E, I think it's G, um, all through spending some time at Ronald McDonald House in Chicago with her parents. So they were volunteering, and while her parents are volunteering by cooking meals and such, uh, Brooke just kind of walked over to the playroom and just cleaned it all up for them. And this is a playroom that's used by, you know, all of the kids there. So she kind of inspired herself by this and got really excited at creating this space for these kids. So kind of started Project G from this small thing. And her whole premise with Project G is to um, inspire kids to find areas that they are passionate about, whether that's cleaning up a park or helping each other by um, working on care bags, things like that. So it's on Northwest Indiana Life, and her, again, her name is Brooke Smith, and she is it's such an inspiring little lady. I'm so impressed by her, you know, some of her quotes in this article. I wonder if I can find one to read. Sergio, this is by Sergio Smith, or Sergio, sorry, this is by Sergio Valdez, our writer, um, but it's about Brooke Smith. So she says, here's a great quote. Um, I'm trying to teach other people about the importance of volunteering and working through goodwill. I want to make this community a better place. So for a first grader, for anyone in our community right now, that's such an inspiring way to be and it's such a great thing you're doing. So I know that you mentioned you were watching. Um, Brooke, to you, all the amazing stuff that you're doing is so inspiring to people, whether they're your age or 50 or 100. Thank you for what you're doing. If you haven't read Brooke's story on nwi.life, please go there, read about Brooke, look up Project G online so you can help her and donate your time and donate any dollars you have. Um, she's got a great thing going and I really wish her the most success. Um, let's shout or jump over to Portage Life. So Portage Life, um, we've got this really cool thing. Portage Township Parks and Rec is doing this week. So obviously parks are, a lot of the parks are closed or the, at least the playground equipment is closed. So a lot of the park stuff just isn't happening and the park superintendent uh, Taylor O'Neill and the program coordinator Jennifer Silkwood came together and said, let's figure out some stuff we can do um, to help these kids and parents in this downtime. So they actually launched two programs. One is on Facebook and it varies. So they basically launch on their Facebook page um, different cool stuff for kids to do or people to do that could be yoga, it could be coloring, it could be whatever it is. And they basically lead you through that. And then the other is crafting kits for kids. So um, they create these crafting kits that are different, I think weekly, I believe, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's weekly and you can go pick them up. Um, so you can find out more about both of those opportunities on the Township Trustees Facebook page or um, portagetrustee.org, the website. So I think that that's a really cool, cool thing that they're doing. Um, and that kind of got me thinking this week when I read that article and I had seen a couple of other things that I wanted to shout out this week about, I don't know if we should have like a, a fun stuff to do segment of this, but I really want to shout out, especially now, you know, we're all kind of hunkered down. We're all in our homes. We're all sick of staring at this bookshelf. So what can we do and what is there happening that we can do this week? So I kind of want to make a little portion of this show this week based around fun stuff happening in our region that we can all go to. So these aren't like paid spots. It's just cool stuff that I've learned about that I want to shout out. I want you guys to participate in um, and I want you to know about. So obviously that Portage program was really awesome. I would urge everybody, especially the township um, members, to go to the trustees Facebook page or to their website and just check that out. But I wanted to share some other really cool stuff that's happening. So we're gonna pop over to Valpo Life and to our apparently brand new 
cool stuff to do segment of Great News Weekly. I'm just making this up. We have a 10 fun things to do article on our sites. So if you're ever looking for fun stuff that you need to do or what's happening in the region, you can always pop over to that too. Um, it's actually how I was originally, you know, way back when seven years ago connected to the company was I loved the 10 fun things to do this weekend article. And so I was like, who is this company? They're really cool. And it brings us here. So, um, the first fun thing I want to shout out is on behalf of Donna Flanagan and the Flanagan's bulk mail service. So this Friday, April 24th, it's from 10 to 10 15. So do not be late. They are participating. They're hoping to get participants in a birthday drive by. So if you are a community member, if you're going to be in Valparaiso at 10 a.m. on Friday, if you are a first responder that has an extra fire truck or something laying around, I'm just saying, um, they are going to be wishing a very special 10-year-old a happy birthday. There is not even rumors. It's confirmed that the fairy Gladmother will be in front of Flanagan's bulk mail service on Friday. So if you've got some kids that need to pick me up and they want to visit the fairies and they want to see the fairy Gladmother, or you want to wish an amazing 10 year old girl happy birthday, drive by 10 a.m. Friday, don't miss it. It's going to be so much fun. If you've never met the fairy Gladmother, she's amazing. So please tune in, stop by, share your love. Every 10 year old birthday party needs to be really celebrated right now. So please, please, please make sure that you're doing that. Um, there's another one I've got. It's not this week, but you, you need to sign up soon. It's the TP 10K virtual run benefiting the Red Cup Cafe. So it is um, May 2nd. It's a virtual run. So it's a virtual 10K. You can sign up online. Um, it's a crazy legs race series. So if you've never heard it, I think you can probably just Google that and find more. But um, this race serial series is put on by Paul Stafko. If you don't know him, he's a very well known regional runner who does tons of races. I think he runs crazy stuff like hundreds of miles, but this is a 10 K. So it's a little bit more realistic uh, for us, not hundred mile runners. And it's super for, I think it's like I'm trying to find the cost. I don't see it off the top of my head, but um, you get a wooden medal. And yes, that medal is teepee. It is a roll of toilet paper. You're welcome. So this sounds really fun. Um, they're going to, if you, you've got to sign up fast because the race medals are limited, but basically you run it, whether it's on a treadmill, outside, on your own, however you want. And then you turn in your race results and they'll get you your medal. So, and I think there's some t-shirts too. So if you go to our site and go to nwi.life TP 10 K virtual run, you'll find it. Oh, and it's benefiting the red cup. So that's in the title, but I didn't mention it. Um, it's benefiting the red cup cafe. If you don't know about them, they're a really great cafe in Chesterton. Um, also in the Valparaiso area is, um, Harley Davidson of Valparaiso to spread some love, some pizza love on Saturday. So this article is by our very awesome Stacy Kellogg. And basically what's happening is that Valpo Harley is giving away pizzas. So they're giving away 300 pizzas this Saturday. So, um, get there. I'm trying to find the times really fast for some reason. Slacker didn't write it down. Um, let's see. So they're partnering with local pizza joints to give away 300 pizzas to anyone who needs one. So basically if your pocketbook's feeling a little light and you need some help or you just need to get those kids fed and you, you know, you're maybe laid off and you haven't gotten that unemployment or whatever your situation is, check out this article. It'll give you all the details. There's awesome people like Domino's, Pizza Hut, Hungry Howie's, and Papa John's are all giving them all these pizzas away. Um, it's a really cool, I think they're working together to, to give these to the community. And I really think that everybody should 
stop by or promote it if you know anyone that's a little bit in need. Just shoot in this article link so that they know about it. So that's a really cool thing. Um, they said, of course, you know, if you're planning on participating, please proper social distancing and sanitary protocols. If you have a mask, mask wear one, um, all that sort of stuff. So tune into that article. You can check out more um, Harley Davidson of Valparaiso to spread some pizza love on Saturday. So that's a really cool thing that they're doing in the community and, and helping those that might be in need. And I appreciate them for that. Um, don't forget, I haven't seen very many. Send me your lifelines. If you haven't put it in into the comments, I need to see your, um, your comments so I can see what awesome good news you have to share this week. Um, this Kayla, that straw hack is going crazy. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, Donna said she's asking everyone to put a note in your mail carrier's box that says Bravo, we appreciate you. So same thing, if you go to the Flanagan's bulk mail Facebook page, she has a little note there, but basically what she's saying is, you know, everybody grab, wash your hands first. And she even says that, wash your hands. Wash your hands and then write your mail carrier a note because they're still working, crazy hours. It's the same with your delivery people and everybody else. Um, Donna is a big proponent of scattering kindness and it's something that she kind of lives by and it's amazing to see. So I think we can all learn a little something from Donna Flanagan and spread, scatter some kindness and, and do something nice. So I love that. Just She said the note just needs to say, bravo, we appreciate you, um, and put it, in your, put it in your mailbox for your mail carrier. Um, Chris Malman said, Kevin Brown is my man crush. That's awkward for everybody, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> he's my husband, leave him alone. Um, Let's see. Xavier Cologne said, I love reading about all of the amazing beating cancer stories. Truly amazing. That's a really good point. I saw one too. Um, yep, that's the same one I saw. So he shared the link, I think, too. Good job, Xavier. That was awesome. So I think I'm making myself crooked here. Sorry, guys. Um, Shelly Reckonwall, I think, is her name. You can go to Valpo Life and um, look for that story. It, I almost put it in and I ran out of time and there were so many things to put in this week, so I didn't, but it's a really amazing can breast cancer survivor story with uh, Northwest Indiana Breast Care Center at Methodist Hospital. So I agree, that story is so heartfelt and so incredible. I loved it. You're exactly right, Xavier. That was a great one to input. Um, let's see. Brooke is getting a lot of shout outs here. I agree, you guys. Shout her out. She's amazing. Stephanie said, Lifeline this week for me is our NWI.life in the spotlight. Such a fantastic little girl. See? Yep, I agree. Brooke, you are the winner of the week. You win our love. <laughs> you're just so amazing. Thank you so much for all that you're doing. Um... Oh, and Brooke's mom said, I think it's her mom, Jamie, uh, Brooke is still working hard during this time delivering bags to RMHC this weekend. Amazing, you guys. Brooke, she said, if you'd like to get involved, Project G is on Facebook. So that's in the comments. You guys can connect with her if you want to help her. Um, yeah, and you're right, Xavier, they're starting young. It's amazing. I mean, just think about your life as a first grader and what you were doing, and I guarantee... It's, I don't remember what I was doing in first grade, but I don't think it was that. So amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I think I have one. Do I have one more? I do. Quick shout out to one more event. It's actually tonight. Um, it's called Quarantini. Um, it's Coash Clothing. If you know me, I've probably talked about them. And Silverware by Misty. It's basically two. If you think about those people, I think I mentioned this maybe last week, those vendors. If you ever went to a market or anything, what are those people doing now? They're getting online and they're doing these really fun 
online kind of shopping. So last week I did one with Coash Clothing too, where I just grabbed a glass of wine, sat down for a minute, watched the show, and ended up getting a couple new things. So it's really cool. Actually, I'm wearing one right now, so I don't know how well you can see this, but it's a little duster from them, and I love it. And it's just so nice to sit down and like watch. It's almost like QVC, but it's present day, so it's really fun and it's, you know, banter and you guys can comment and so it's really cool for me to see a little bit of what everybody's doing to adjust, to adjust to their daily lives in-house, but also those people that are saying, hey, we're going to make it work anyway, you know, it's really cool and I'm really appreciative of, it, of them for doing just that. That was um, a great way to kind of flip it and get us something to do while we're at home. So don't forget, send me your lifelines. I'm trying to look through these. Um, Sergio is shouting out Brooke as well. Loved interviewing them. Um, ooh, I love this one. Courtney Smith said, a group of us just got back from Olsen Park and Portage for a green cleanup. Good job. Happy Earth Day. I love it. Um... Yeah, and yes, of course, Kellen said she loves Tommy's piece. So Kellen and Tommy are both runners in the region, and so I'm sure they're both, you know, those track stars are probably struggling to get out there as much as possible. Um, Yeah, I have 10 fun things virtually. Yes, Stacey, you're so right. I love this. Oh, she actually shared it. So if you are looking for 10 fun things to do, we still are doing it every week. We're not going to miss. The life sites don't miss. It's just what we do. So we're still doing 10 fun things. You can look that up on NWI Life, Alpha Life. All the life sites have it. And it'll just give you 10 fun things. Obviously, those 10 fun things are different now than they were four months ago. And that's okay. There's still a lot of cool stuff happening. There's those concerts we talked about. There's all that fun stuff happening in the region So um, and in the world. So I think that this is a great way to kind of expand your horizons, learn something new. Um, if you're a parent who's trying to work from home and teach your kids from home and keep your home still standing, maybe that's just taking some time to color and have a glass of wine, <laughs> whatever it is that's going to make you happy. So, um, I think that's probably, I think it's all I'm trying to see. There's so many comments, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, Cammy shouting out red cup. I love it. <laughs> Definitely the most unique race medal you can receive. Yes, that TP race. I'm serious. Go look at the article on um, NWI.life. It is, it looks like a roll of toilet paper. It's fantastic. Let's see. Oh, Julia Demma said, my lifeline lately has been all of the professional trainers posting free videos online for their followers to stay active um, and fit during quarantine. Yes, that's a really great point. So, we can't get to the gym right now, and Julia's exactly right. It's really hard to kind of motivate yourself, but if there's a class you can sign up for that's online, a lot of them, she's right, are free. So I, I'm still paying for my gym membership, and I can't go there, but my gym is offering classes online. Or if that's not your case, and you usually just go to the Y and you can't, Look online, there's a lot of really great, fun workouts that you can do without equipment, because I know that's a thing too. If you don't have equipment at home, what can you do to stay fit? I've been actually taking laps around my lawn, which is just a couple acres, but it helps me get some steps in. Uh, so whatever you can do to stay fit and happy, we're all gonna come out of this quarantine looking like something. So let's make sure it looks real, real good, right? Uh, Joe, hi Joe, great to see you watching. I appreciate you. Um, pizza, oh, thank you, Stacy. I was slacking, she is not. Pizza starts at noon on Saturday, so that pizza pickup. Um, Shout outs to Harley. I agree. Oh, Kayla, Kayla Bellick. Here's a lifeline. I started a new workout plan for like the first time in my existence. Nothing like spare time slash boredom to get you motivated. Yes. See, it's perfect. Um, what I, I'd love to hear more stories about what you guys are doing during this pandemic. What's happening? Uh, Donna Flanagan said my lifetime line today is about to bring. I'm about to bring 23 pizzas to the post office. See you guys, Brooke and Donna. Brooke Smith, Donna Flanagan. They win. They're all doing, they're just doing amazing, amazing things. So be like Brooke and Donna. That's really awesome, Donna. Thank you for that. 
Oh, my lifeline is seeing your kitty. Is that sad? Ha ha. That's great. Um, she, she's actually was climbing the curtains earlier and I was trying not to um, be distracted that she, as she tore them up, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> you guys are fantastic with this red vine straws. I love it. Uh, Kelsey Costello, my lifeline. Today I'll be participating in one of the happy birthday drive-bys for one of the 10 year olds in my neighborhood. Glad that even though it's not a normal birthday, we are still finding ways to make them special for kids. I agree. Um, Harley said, stop by Harley of Valpo Saturday at noon and grab some free pizza. I love it. You guys are, so, there's so much. Sergio said, my neighbors are doing a lot of outdoor activities with their kids in their backyard. They look very happy. That's a great one too. We had mentioned, you know, uh, Portage Parks is doing some fun stuff to keep kids active. Valpo Parks, we mentioned last week, you can rent some stuff to keep kids active. So that's another really, really fun part um, to keep pe people outside, keep them doing stuff. Like I don't have a basketball at my house, but if I needed one, I could go get one from Portage Parks, which is awesome. Um, yes, being outside is the best. Glad you shifted your camera. I thought I was listening. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I'm still learning. I'm a new one. So then I realized that, you know, halfway through I'm tilting. Um, especially as I go through these, but I, I've got some new equipment on the way. I'm improving every single day. So sooner or later, not, my background won't be backwards, Dan. I appreciate you. And we'll hopefully have a recording mic and I'm going to make my house a studio before you know it. Um, Harley said, Coash Clothing, that's awesome. Virtual show is a great way to engage while you are in the house. Yes, agreed. Harley, agreed. Um... Tom Seeley said, who put the elf on the shelf behind your head? Is there one? I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> now I'm nervous. What's there? I don't see it. It's okay. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> Tom, I don't know what you're talking about, but now I'm nervous about what's behind my head. Um, there's some more links in these comments. Guys, check out these comments later. I'm trying to get through them too, which is super fun. But... Um, I think these are awesome. Sergio also said, since lockdown, I got a bench press. Since the gyms are closed, the quarantine is not stopping me. Yes, that is the proper way to be motivated. Um, Xavier said he's got some dumbbells to use too. So wait, he said, if I ever use them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get out there and use them, you guys. I love this so much. I still don't know what the elf on the shelf is. Um... Fill me in, Tom. Tell me what you're looking at. It's okay. There might be an elf on the shelf back there for all I know. There's a lot of weird things. I've got a lot of weird books, trophies, all kinds of stuff. It's a successful life I live. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, thank you guys. I will stop taking up all of your time. Um, this has been another fun, super fun installment of Great News Life's Great News Weekly. Um, stay tuned, tune in every Wednesday at noon here live. You can also find us on nwi.life, portage.life, valbo.life, and laportcounty.life. You can find us on all of those on Facebook as well. And you can find us on Instagram at greatnews.life. We're all over Twitter. You can't miss us. You can find us, please. Oh wait, Cami said... My lifeline is the weekend is a mini gish, which is a great international scavenger hunt. Ooh, I should look that up. That sounds fun. For one day to do at home. I love that. Family YMCA's have lots of workouts you can try. Oh, LaPorte County Family Y has workouts that you can try for at home. That's a great one too. Cool. Thanks, guys. Um... Hi, Jenny. Love, Michael. Oh, hi. That's my nephew. I'm so glad you guys are all watching. Thanks again. Stay tuned next week for even more good news. We're going to keep coming at you. Eventually, we'll be in the studio. But for right now, you get my bookshelf and my cats. So tune in next week, noon, here on nwi.life. Take care in the meantime. I'm trying to see all these um, fun, fun things. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay positive. 
go sign up for that 10K and drive by Flanagan's bulk mail tomorrow too. Have a great week. Thanks, guys.